And here's the starting 11 for Japan. Well, they're going to make themselves very hard to break down. In this formation, the only way you can play is on the back foot. Hopefully, they try to counter-attack with pace and numbers. Otherwise, I can't see them scoring. Here's how Colombia will begin the game. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And teammates to play it to. Being egged on by the crowd. Has eyes for goal! And the keeper more than equal to it. They favoured a short one here. Just the challenge that was required. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back hill this is to set up the goal. But you have to question the keeper here. It's a good finish, but she shouldn't be beaten inside the near post. She'll be disappointed with that. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, good work by the keeper. Now veering in field. Wonderful chance. And a goal! They've increased their lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Played over. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. And that will be that. The final whistle. And it is a tale of misery for them. Not the result they were hoping for. Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed.